Thank you for taking the time to come visit me today. This is a beautiful 1970 Mercedes-Benz 280 SE 3.5 Cabriolet. Now they only made 1,232 of these vehicles, so we figure there's about half, around 600 left in existence today. This car went through a complete 3,500 hour rotisserie restoration. Every nut, every bolt, every screw, all the glass, gorgeous wood, leather, paint, engine, everything on this car is as if it was brand new. Actually, this car is better than new because in the 1970s, they didn't have the technology that we have today. I've only driven one of these cars once in 35 years. Can you take us for a drive in this 3.5 Cabriolet? As this car is very much different from my six-cylinder coupe in power and smoothness, which I've owned personally for 35 years. Fabulous. Come on, we're going to go. We're going to go for an ice cream. But there's no eating in the car, Doug. Okay, but can I turn up the stereo? No, you can't. But you can touch the very, very high-quality German leather as long as you wash your hands first. Okay. And you get power windows, four-speed transmission. I mean, you're, you're, you're really driving in the 21st century. Absolutely. You know, this car was made 50 years ago. But with a sense of style yeah. that can't be duplicated yeah. in today's world. They well, couldn't afford to produce this car today. It would be too expensive. Well, the problem today is all the cars look the same. But when you drive around, what do people say when they see you in this car? Well, it's actually very difficult to drive around it because everybody wants to talk. Everybody wants to give you a thumbs up. Everybody wants to ask you questions about it. So you don't want to seem rude. So you, no. a 10 minute drive takes about an hour. I see on the floor here you've got custom fitted maps of the cocoa mats, just like they had 50 years ago. That looks really, really cool. Thank you. It, it, it's a period piece, and uh, they were designed in a certain way so that any dust would fall between the uh, between the way the uh, the cocoa mat was uh, was woven. So it, it looks nice. It just gives a little sort of style to the uh, to the automobile. Well, thanks very much for the drive. This is this is just a, a magnificent automobile. Proud to be anywhere in the boulevards of Paris or downtown Toronto. Uh, Doug, thank, thank you. Thank you. Gary, all I can say is wow. So what's next? Tell us about this 3.5 coupe you and your partners are restoring. Is that going to be a sister car or a garage queen? And who's going to be the fortune owner of this car? Because I understand there's only about 1,740 of these cars left in the world. Well, that's true, Doug. The coupe is a beautiful, beautiful automobile. The W111 chassis. This car is specced out with the power sunroof, floor shift, power windows, air conditioning. Gorgeous, gorgeous automobile. Some people also call them opera coupes because it has that very dramatic looking rear window. So don't keep us in suspense. What's the color combination of this car? Well, we've decided it's going to be DB180 silver, the sister color to, uh, to this car, but it's going to have a gorgeous, dark, very rich and elegant German burgundy leather. Very expensive close to $15 a square foot. And steering wheel, trim in the car, what's that going to look like? The steering wheel on this car will be the ivory steering wheel, which was an available option on Mercedes-Benz cars in that era. It'll have the matching shift knob. Just a beautiful color spec for a very classy and elegant automobile. So how are you going to tell the world about this car? Well, it's going to be marketed, obviously, online. It might make it to the Shows in Germany, Essen, Stuttgart, Pebble Beach, Amelia Island, who knows? I personally don't think it'll even last that long. Some discerning collector or a person who appreciates a car of this quality will most likely buy it before those shows even take place.
Is it going to be in any classic magazines? It'll be in a lot of classic magazines. All the high-end guys who appreciate these fine automobiles, they'll be seeing it over the next few months. Mercedes Classic, uh, different languages? Yep, it'll be French, it'll be in German, it'll be in the Mercedes-Benz Classic magazine, it'll be in North American magazines. Guys who, who appreciate these cars, they'll be seeing it very, very shortly. So somebody better buy it soon before somebody else gets it, is that right? Absolutely, I might even buy it because I'd really like to have a nice stable mate for my cabriolet here. Gary, thanks for the ride, for the first look at the masterpiece by performance and vintage classicals. And we look forward to seeing 3.52 and perhaps you delivering another episode of Cruising with Doug Dees. Nothing would make me happier. Thanks, Doug. Bye-bye. Hi there, I'm Gary Shapiro. I'm the president and founder of AutoVault Canada, and I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to come visit us today and to see my very special 1970 Mercedes-Benz 280 SE 3.5 Cabriolet. It's a very important vehicle to me. It's something I've wanted my entire life, and I was fortunate enough to acquire it in the last year after a couple of year restoration. So we're gonna spend a few minutes and we'll uh, give you a little tour of it. So as you can see, the 7280 Cabriolet is a beautiful study in classical proportions, very subtle elegance. There's just something very, very special about it. Here's the original 1970 brochure. And you can see here that the original brochure car was the same color. It's called DB180 Silver. So this car new in 1970 was 15,000 Canadian dollars. So to put that in perspective, a brand new Cadillac in 1970 was about $6,500. So this was two and a quarter Cadillacs. So very rare, they only made 1,232 of these vehicles for the world. So we, we calculated that there's about 600 left today. This was a car that Grace Kelly drove when she was married to Prince Rainier in Monaco. This was the creme de la creme. Beautiful leather, wood, trim. Everything in this vehicle was the best quality in the world. This was the pinnacle of automobile engineering at that time. In late 69, Mercedes-Benz developed a new engine. It was known as the engine of tomorrow. That's the engine that powers this car. It's an eight cylinder. It puts out 230 horsepower. So by today's standards, not a big number. But in late 69, early 70, this was quite the engine. This is a completely redone engine. Every nut, every screw, every bolt, everything in this entire vehicle from the engine back has been redone. All the wood, all the leather, everything, glass, chrome, everything's been redone or is brand new, bought from new old stock that was still available at the Mercedes-Benz Classic Center in Irvine, California. So as you can see from the interior of this automobile, it's a very, very special place to be. It's like a library. It's like a, like a classic club, fine dining, the best woods, leather, trim, everything's chromed. Everything is the best of the best that was available in that time period. It's simple, elegant, tasteful. That's what this car was all about. Even the trunk of this automobile is beautifully detailed. It's fully carpeted. The spare tire is encased in beautiful black leather. Matching set of tools. Everything done at a very, 
very high standard. All the chrome, all the chrome fittings, lights at the sides of the license plates, beautifully detailed. So again, thank you for taking the time to come visit. I hope you enjoyed the little uh, trip down memory lane for the classic 1970 Mercedes 280 SE 3.5 Cabriolet. They don't build them like this anymore. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Happy motoring. Bye-bye.